Thank you so much for staying with us, Cecil Ibrand Daybreak. And uh, the Love Doctor is here, Dr. Obi, and we're looking at the very controversial conversation around dealing with a cheating partner. Uh, the Men's Association of the World claims that, you know, some biological features that they have makes it almost impossible for a man to not cheat i don't i don't want to direct this conversation to that point because it might never end but these are part of the conversations we're going to be having with dr obi this morning uh, whoever cheats the man or the woman in a marriage in a relationship it's usually a very very difficult situation to get through some relationships never get back from that we're about to find out from an expert good morning dr obi can you hear me Good morning. How are you? Great. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you. All right. So, dealing with a cheating partner, please. How do you want to drive this yeah. conversation this morning? Wow, well, this is a very uh, interesting conversation, and I am not sure we can exhaust it in the time that we have. We we'll definitely but, run uh, into a series. <laughs> Yeah, but the first thing that I would say is um, it it varies from person to person. Mm. Uh, there is no there is no uniform way because there are so many uh, dynamics at play. Um, how people deal with their cheating partners largely will be a reflection of three things. It will be a reflection of their values, mm. their attitudes. And their and their belief system. So, um, because it's marriage, and it's not just um, a, a, a one-off relationship, that now makes it a little bit more a little bit more complicated. So, with the foundation I've laid, the first thing that I would recommend for anybody watching us now or listening to us is to find a way to uh, put your emotions together anger is never anger is never the the best option because there are many reasons why people why people cheat again we can't get into all of that today but just speaking to this question directly the first way to deal with a cheating partner is to find a way to put your emotions together so that you can intelligently assess the situation. For example, some partners are serial cheats, some do it one-off, some do it to maybe escape something. So we really need to know what situation we're dealing with because if it's, if if the person is a serial cheat, for example, then the recommendation might be different. You might mm. get to a point where you want to begin to question if you still want to go on with the marriage. If the person had no history of cheating from when you guys were dating and it just happened one off, then that's what I'm saying finding a way to keep the emotions together then you might now want to begin to investigate what happened why did this happen to the, so the person that didn't cheat did i contribute to this in any way so there are many sides to it but this is just the general uh the general overview and mm -hmm. then depending on the specific uh, conditions or situations then we can now apply more we can now apply more more principles i don't know if this helps anybody All right. that is listening to us but the point i made earlier very important and it's never the the, the way to go all yes. right uh i'm glad that you you know you mentioned that it's an overview so this is like an introduction uh a lot of things that you've mentioned yeah. actually points to several issues that would have erupted if we had enough time to continue uh, these conversations. Yeah. Like I said, it's going to run into a series eventually. 
Uh, so maybe by the time we return next Thursday, we're going to have different, of course, parts of this conversation already lined out and, you know, probably trash it to a great extent. But for now, my producer is ringing in my ear and I really have to let you go, Dr. Obi. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Uh, like we said, it's going to be a series. Sam is itching to ask questions. <laughs> Well, I reserve all those questions you have, Sam, because you seem to have a lot of experience that yeah. you want to talk about. Uh, but you get the opportunity to talk about them, experiences, and ask all the questions that you have to. But this is where we draw the curtain on today's edition of iBrand Day Break. Thank you so much for being a part of it. We will return tomorrow with the TGIF edition. It's usually beautiful. My favorite segment favorite edition actually is tgf edition you don't want to miss out on that lots and lots of stars will be coming here to have conversations until then stay positive be a good nigerian my name is uche zoe and of course i won't be here to, uh, with you tomorrow <laughs> but it's okay i am samuel kata hope you enjoyed today's show bye for now have a great day